Retain gang, what's poppin', man? This your boy Tay back at y'all again with another video, man. Peace, love, and abundance. And as always, I appreciate you guys for tapping into the channel. So, I want to talk about a few things. Have you guys been feeling like the energy has been shifting very fast? You know, you guys let me know in the comment section. Have you been feeling this? Like, it just seems like life is happening very fast. Hell, we're, we're already halfway through February. It just seemed like, you know, last week we was in January and this is already a short month. It just seems like everything is speeding up and going faster and faster. Maybe you guys have noticed that things from your past are coming back to the surface. So like certain situations you were in are being repeated, you know, in the present moment. Or you might even notice you're having dreams about your past, about your ex, about people you used to associate with, about your old lifestyle. But I want y'all to know all this is happening for a reason. Um, it's, it's trying to give us that that push to to heal ourselves and to clean out, you know, what we've been holding on to for all these years. And if you guys have been tapped into my channel for a while, you already know about shadow work and you've already been hip to, to cleansing yourself and dealing with your past traumas. You know, that's nothing new for you. But we're all going through it right now because of the shift. You know, I did a video a while back talking about the 3D and 5D Earth, how there's a new Earth that's emerging. Just like a cell, how a cell splits off. What's going on right now is the three-dimensional Earth is splitting off from the five-dimensional, right? So all of this heaviness, this negativity, this evil, all that is being left behind in a 3D world. And then when your heart is light as a feather, all the righteous people, you know, are being lifted up into the new earth. Because the, the 5D earth, the new earth is all about righteousness. It's all about high vibrations. It's all about high vibrations. This is why so much chaos going on right now because there's a split. Anytime you have such a huge transition like this, there's always going to be a stir, a mix-up. You're going to have people that's going to resist. And that's where the chaos comes from. As I said before, we're all going through it. So you guys have been tapped into this already. Just imagine the people who haven't been. Right? They, they're going through hell right now. Because for once, they finally got to see themselves. A lot of people were afraid to be by themselves. A lot of folks were afraid to deal with the traumas. Right, they wanted to walk around and project what they feel inside on others. Well, now the Most High is judging all of us. You see, and the judgment is just the Most High putting the mirror in front of you and saying, "Here, this is who you are. Deal with it." So, whoever you are, you know, whatever reflecting back in that mirror, you got to deal with that. So this is why you see so much projection going on. This is why you see people going through hell right now. It's not because of anybody else. It's because of what they have inside. That shadow self. They haven't made peace with their shadow self. You know, our shadow self, it holds on to all of our insecurities and all of our secrets. All those flaws that we had that we buried deep inside you know and that we try to put this mask on in front of the world and act like we're perfect we don't have no flaws but that shadow side is the one that carries the weight it holds the burden of all that it's time to cleanse out now though see in order for you to rise up you have to cleanse out yourself and this is why everybody right now is just experiencing themselves that's it your past is coming back you know, it, it, it's, it's certain things that, you know, you might have been holding on to grudges and you never made men's with those things. So it's, it's all affecting us right now. You feel me? The key to being at peace with yourself is you have to love yourself. You know, it's all about self-love. If you guys have been watching my channel, um, you already know that. This isn't just about semen retention. My channel started off with self-love. And then it grew into the retention because 
In order for you to love yourself, you got to take care of yourself. You got to be aware of yourself. You can't claim you love yourself, but then you, you, you releasing your energy and killing yourself. You know, you, you can't claim that you love yourself if you're killing yourself. You're wasting your resources. You're putting bad resources in your body. You hanging around negative people and low vibrations, but you say you love yourself. It's not about what you say, it's about what you do. Your actions speak louder than words. So that's where that came from, man. It's all about loving yourself. And this is the test right now. Can you get back to that self-love? We're all being judged by the contents of our heart. Everybody right now is walking around and projecting. If you've healed yourself and you're full of love and light, that's what you're gonna project. If you're full of hatred, you're full of regret, you're full of bitterness that's what you're going to project you know i heard this beautiful quote man it says that people make excuses to project what's really in their heart so you'll have people that's going to try to blame you for their bitterness try to blame you for the reason why they're acting a certain way they're treating you a certain way they're spreading negativity they'll use excuses to really just reflect how they feel we got to work on getting our heart light as a feather, man, because that ain't going to fly in a new earth. We are going through a shift. Life is moving so fast because everything is shifting. It's changing. The world will never be the same again. It's not. It's, it's not going back to how it used to be. Time is gone. You know what I'm saying? This is why time is moving so fast because it's, it's, it's gone. We're just in timelines right now. All we're doing is jumping from timeline to timeline, which is just sequence of events you see all these movies coming out these superhero movies where it's multi-dimensions and timelines they're telling you in the movies the new deadpool and wolverine movie coming out where it shows him about to jump into the different movies timelines that already happened and, and change some things because it got messed up somewhere time don't exist no more it's just timelines and if you know the character deadpool he he can break the fourth wall so breaking the fourth wall is just you being aware that you are having the human experience. You're not trapped in the matrix, but you understand that you are something bigger. You are something outside the matrix. That's all Deadpool is. Deadpool is aware that he's, he's a comic book character, right? That's always been his premise. He's aware. He's always been able to speak to the audience. You see, this is all a reflection of us, man. We got to wake up and be aware of who we are. This whole world has been an illusion. We've had a veil over our eyes for thousands of years, man. You know, there's been a veil lifted over our eyes that made us believe that what we see is what we get. Made us be fearful. Right. Be afraid of everything. And all that's changing now, man. This is a beautiful time to live in. You know, I, I'm, I'm glad I was born in this time just to see this transition. Because things have to change. We are all going through a transformation. Right? We're all transforming. We're all evolving. Well, not all of us. You know, some people are resisting. But for the most part, if you're following the most high and, and being tuned in with that, you, you're, you're evolving. You see? And this is going to put you in a weird space. Because now, you're not going to resonate with the world anymore. You guys let me know in the comment section if you've been feeling like this, like you're you're an outcast. No matter how much you try, man, it's like you can never fit in with the with the masses. That's because your vibration, you're not equally yoked with the world anymore. You know, it's just like if I'm trying to tune in to a certain radio station, let's say 99.1. But, you know, my frequency is on 100.5. I'm not going to be able to tune into that radio station because the frequencies don't match. Same thing with you. Your frequency is high, man, so you're not going to match low frequencies. And I'm not trying to say everybody in the masses is low frequency, but what I'm saying is, you know, if you have people that are still a part of the world, they're still being controlled, you're not going to resonate with that anymore. You got to be at peace with that. You know that everybody's not going to go. Everybody's not going to be able to transition the same way that you will 
And that's okay. You feel what I'm saying? Love yourself, though. When you have that self-love, man, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to flow naturally. That's why I've been telling you guys, go with the flow right now. Stop trying to force anything in your life. Stop trying to force finances. Stop trying to force your goals. Let everything flow right now because we're going through a transition. Okay, and you got to go through the process. You got to clean some things out. You might not be ready to achieve that goal right now or to be at a state of living that you want to be just because you're not right within yourself yet. There might be some traumas that you're still holding on to that's preventing you from living your best life right now. Right? That's why I said before you might have some things with your ex still. You might still have a connection there. You might still have some bitterness there that you need to get rid of. Right? You need to forgive and forget and move on. And it's trying to teach you that. It's trying to show you that. You keep having dreams. You keep having or being put in situations and you might be stuck in a loop right now you might be like man i can't get out of this situation no matter what i do like i'm still stuck in this scenario well it's trying to show you that you need to focus on something there's something in that scenario that you're not getting you're not learning from it's time for you to graduate you feel what I'm saying? It's time to graduate. It's time to move on. It's time to elevate. You need to get past this level. You see, I had to realize this with myself, man. There were some things that I was holding on to. There were some things that was holding me back and bringing down my energy. And I had to, you know, start getting back on my meditation, going deep. 30 minutes to an hour a day. However many times I needed to do it, you know, just to really pinpoint the the root cause of all this why is my energy so low man why am i stuck in this situation why things aren't working for me right now and the reason why things weren't working was because i had to clean some things out within myself you see and that's what it takes and once you start doing that you're going to see life start flowing even better you're going to start to see blessings flowing inside and into your life because we're going through a transition, guys. I can't say it enough, man. So y'all need to be on y'all P's and Q's. You need to really focus on your love for yourself and love for others. Forgive. Stop holding on to stuff, man. Right? Bury the hatch with your enemies. People that you fell out with. It's time right now. Okay? Because all this of the old world is being eradicated. So leave that stuff in the past. Leave it in the old world. It's time for us to rise and elevate. You feel me? So with that being said, guys, if you need help, I do one-on-one -on -one consultations. I'll leave my link in my description and in my pinned comments. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all thought about this video or if you have, you know, any suggestions of what I should talk about next. With that being said, y'all have a beautiful day and I'm out. Peace.